Welcome to another Wonderbill tutorial. In this video, I'm going to take you through Wonderbill's scheduling system. Now, just a bit about this. This is based on what's called a waterfall project management methodology, which is arguably one of the most powerful ways you can manage your projects. And let's go ahead and just dive right in. Okay, and let's go ahead and create a very first task within our a brand new schedule. So what you want to do, hover to the menu to the left, click on jobs, and we've created a, a sample job for this particular exercise. You can see a construction job schedule example. And what we'd like to do is go to the menu to the left and go down to your schedule. And you've got two options here. One of which you, that's what you can see here is called add task group, which fundamentally creates a brand new category for you to manage. And within that, you'll have your own individual tasks within the category, or you can go into import. So let's just create a brand new task or category. And then we'll select the start and finished of that particular category task and select the color. Go ahead and click on red as an example. Now you've got two options, one of which you can either hit create or you can check this box. And as soon as you hit create, it will reset the form and add a, another category. To the, to the schedule. Let's go ahead and just uncheck that, hit create. Now we've created a, a brand new category within the schedule. You can see here, just drag that to the right to reveal the, the name in full. So we've created a category called timber framing. You can see here the duration is 12 days. And uh, what we'd like to do is within that category, create a, a little subtask, if you will. So let's just call it inspection. And we can put a description to inspect the uh, timber to ensure the quality is up to standard and that will go from the 21st to 23rd. Now we can either assign it to a team member or supplier and uh, it's here that you can start to manage uh, who does what. Now let's just, just tag that as the supplier and that's Robert's Timber and you can set reminders which will go through later. So click that create button and you can see the two tasks within the timeline. Let's go ahead and create another task within that category if you will or, or schedule item. We'll call this one purchase. And this one's about making sure that we uh, reach out to the supplier to purchase the timber, start to end date really quickly. And in this instance, what we'd like to do is look at creating what's called a dependency or a predecessor in this instance. And we'll make it so we can only um, complete that task once the inspection is done. So it creates that dependency. You can see on the screen to the right, let's quickly create another one. As an example, we'll call this one timber delivery. And again, um, you can go ahead and assign the supplier to this one. And then let's uh, look at the predecessor and let's set that to purchase. So now you can see the waterfall effect now occurring. You can see that the timber framing is the main category and within it you've got the items in the category such as inspection, purchase and of course timber delivery. Now there's also a quicker way. So we've done things individually. What you can do is actually bulk import all of your costing sheet within your actual timeline. So this saves a lot of time. So what you'd like to need to do is go to options in the top right corner and click on import. From here, you can actually choose the costing categories that are in your costing sheet. So prelim, tiles, electrical, let's just take away um, just prelim and just keep the items that we want. When you go to next, you'll see the category items that are associated within those categories. So tiles and electrical, and let's just import those into the timeline. Now you can see the items present within the timeline or the categories. And of course the subcategories, Toronto tiles, sandstone, foyer, and you can expand and collapse those. Now, maybe we'd like to go ahead and organize directly on the timeline. So you can even click those category items and drag them across to the appropriate dates of when they need to be done. You can expand the duration by dragging. It's a really easy and intuitive way uh, to manage your workflow and your timeline. Now you've learned how to and import your costings directly onto the timeline, which saves you a lot of time. And um, I, next thing we need to do is let's go ahead and keep organized and keep the team organized. And what you can do now is start to assign individuals, suppliers, or your team members directly onto each category item. So you can see here, this one's assigned to the actual supplier. Perhaps we'd like to assign purchase. Go ahead and click the edit button. And what you can do is Go ahead and click on the team member drop down. Let's select Jane Doe to be assigned to this task. Let's remind Jay two days before it's actually due and look at the predecessor that looks good. Update. Now that's officially been assigned um, to Jane Doe. Now, 
let's go ahead and perhaps we need to notify Jane within Wonderbill instead of using an external email platform. And you can see here, go ahead and create a message. And when inspection is complete, um, please send payment, add attachments and go ahead and click on the send. And just like that, you now sent a notification or an email within Wonderbuild to Jane and she'll also get a notification in the Wonderbuild app. Next up, you can actually, as an end user or within the team, use Wonderbuild scheduling system to also manage your progress. So Jane's now logged in, she's gone in and she's called, left a message and sent the invoice, 55% done. And you can set that percentage bar and you can see here now, the next to Jane's task, which is purchase, 55% done. Overall within that category, 18% progress within those three items. So you can now start to set the progress on the other items, uh, just to make sure you keep everything on track. And what you can also refer to is on the right side, you can see that each of the main categories, for example, timber framing up at the very top is 48% overall done, and its category items within timber framing have also got the relative percentages. So you can easily have a look at seeing where things are um, roadblocks. Now, with that, you can then export that into a report, into a PDF. You can then share it with your team, share it with your, your clients or your customers, and just to tell them how the project's going. Of course, this is just a sample or a snapshot of what you would have within your project. Now, as that grows, as you'll start to assign more tasks and more items to individuals, you can start to sort with our Clever Filter system. So, for example, you could start to sort by just Jane's tasks. Or, you know, you might want to look at, for example, all the suppliers like Robert's Timber. You can start to drill down and see what tasks they have. Again, another great way to manage your suppliers and your teams. Go back to all the signees to see everyone. Um, you can then create a sorting order. So go ahead and drag that to the bottom as an example or the middle. And you can then start to actually reorder the actual category items. You'll see that reflected within the actual timeline also. That concludes the video tutorial on Wonderbuild Scheduling. Thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.